In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of the triiodide ion, I3 minus. So let's begin by adding the valence electrons. Iodine is in group 7A of the periodic table, so it therefore has seven valence electrons, and there's three of them, so we've got to multiply by three. Now, this polyatomic ion does have a negative charge. So we need to add one to the total number of valence electrons. Seven times three, that's 21 plus one. So we get a total of 22 valence electrons. Now, how can we use this number to draw the Lewis structure? Well, it turns out that you could use this number in such a way to calculate how many lone pairs there are on the central iodine atom. So I recommend making a list of the multiples of 8. And you want to pick the highest multiple of 8 that is just under 22. So this would be 16. Next, subtract the number of valence electrons by that number. And so you'll get 6. So this means that the central iodine atom is going to have six electrons or three lone pairs on it. Each lone pair corresponds to two electrons. So let's draw the Lewis structure. So here's the first lone pair, here's the second one, and here's the third lone pair. Now iodine usually has a single bond when it's not the center atom. Most halogens like to have one bond when they're not the center atom in a molecule or polyatomic ion. The reason for that is they have seven valence electrons. They need only one more to get to eight, so they like to typically form one bond. Now, when iodine usually has one bond, typically it has three lone pairs. So this is gonna be the Lewis structure of the triiodide ion. And if you want to, you can put it inside a bracket, and then put the negative charge outside of that. But let's count up the electrons. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and then 18, 20, 22. So we have the right number of electrons in this structure. Now let's calculate the formal charges of the elements in this structure. So the formal charge can be calculated by taking the number of valence electrons and subtracting it by the bonds and dots of the element. So let's start with the element on the right. Iodine has seven valence electrons. It has one bond and three lone pairs, which is six dots. So seven minus seven is zero. So both of these iodine atoms are neutral because they have the same situation. Now let's focus on the one in the middle. That iodine atom still has seven valence electrons, but in this structure, it has two bonds and six dots. So it's seven minus eight. Therefore, it bears the negative one formal charge. Now, the molecular geometry of the triiodide ion is linear. As you can see, it looks like a straight line. Now the bond angle for any linear shape is 180 degrees because the bond angle of a line is always going to be 180. It's half of a, a full circle, which is 360. Now the hybridization of the central iodine atom, it has three lone pairs and it's attached to two other atoms. So it has basically like five groups on it. It's going to be D sp3. If you add the exponents, it'll equal to 5, which is the number of groups attached to it. So this hybrid orbital consists of 1 s orbital, 3 p orbitals, and 1 d orbital. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to draw the Lewis structure of the triiodide ion I3 minus. Thanks for watching.